Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Duol, aka the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews with another unboxing thing vid. Well, may not need my letter opener after all. Looks like I can get this. I got a little something here from Amazon. Wondering what it is? Well, I will say, let us find out, shall we, folks? And what should be but, well, what well, you know, you're right. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yep, the final season of The Brady Bunch. Yep, I have now completed the series in only a month. Can you believe it? Believe me. That's the quickest time I've actually managed to complete a series in separate sets than any other surpassing Punky Brewster. <laughs> yeah, and also, I wanted to get it for today, since today's the day that it was 50 years ago when the Braid Bunch premiered on ABC. Now, if you haven't seen my TV log of it, I would strongly suggest you check it out. But anyway, this here is the fifth and final season. Where we get tons more fun-filled episodes. The final 22 episodes. Where we get a whole lot of really good ones. Where, let's see. Greg, who goes on the, well, goes as Johnny Bravo. Yeah, this was long before we ever even knew that 90s cartoon character. Snow White and the Seven Bradys. Which, that's pretty good. I barely got to see much of that. I mean, this is where Cindy gets her whole family being a silly satire of the story of Snow White. Let's see, Marsha gets creamed. I remember this. Marsha gets a job at the ice cream parlor. That's pretty funny. Let's see. And let's see, what else? Hmm. Well, there's a whole lot more. Oh, yeah, and there's um, Kelly's Kids. I rarely remember this episode, but anyway, that was a, a backdoor pilot for a show that would be a spin-off, but it never made off the ground, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Let's see. Welcome aboard, which this introduces us to probably one that probably kind of almost wrecked the series almost. I'll give you a better look. Cousin Oliver, played by Robbie Risk. I'm sure a lot of you have seen him before. I know at, long after this, he a, appeared in lo on lots of other shows, including What's Happening. He's been on the original Knight Rider. And let's see. And of course, he's also done lots of other shows. And he was in the first Sharknado movie, was the bus driver. And, of course, I didn't know this was him. He also starred on the Saturday Morning Show Kid Video, which happens to turn 35. Yeah, I used to watch Kid Video, and he was one of the good guys. Can you believe it? Yeah, he went from playing supposed bad luck Cousin Oliver to, well, the kid playing the keyboards in Kid Video. Cool, huh, folks? Let's see, and there, oh yeah, and here's some more good episodes. Let's see. And, oh yeah, and there's Two Pizza and a Pod, which features a guest appearance by Denise Nickerson from, you know, Violet Beauregard of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, whom we sadly lost not so long ago. And she was also in the second incarnation of the, set, the short circus on the original Electric Company as well. Let's see, and then there's The Hustler, which, where Bobby does so well um, up against Mike's boss in a game of pool, which features guest appearance by Jim Backus, who was best known for playing Mr. Howell on Sherwood Schwartz's other big series that came, well, big hit series that came before this, Gilligan's Island. And... And finally, there was the series finale, The Hairbrain Scheme, which 
Valley gets in real hot water, and Greg's all tore up at him for giving him this hair tie, and it turns his hair orange before he even graduates. Can you believe that? Oh, boy. I'm in for a good run of Brady Button. Well, anyway, now I've got him the whole blooming Brady Bunch. <laughs> and since I'm almost done with the fourth season, I've got five more episodes to go, and then I'll start working on this final helping of... Uh, well, Mike and Carol and Alice, plus Cindy and Bobby, Pierre and Jen, Greg and Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh, which reminds me, I decided to get this from Walmart. And, well, they may not have had my favorite Brady Kid, which was Cindy, but hey, I like all the Brady Kids for different reasons, so... Ta da! Got myself Marsha, the pop vinyl figure from Funko. I'm sure a lot of y'all know of these little things here, so this is my very first one. I wish it was, I wish I could find Cindy. I mean, now I, it was either her or Bobby, but no hard feelings to any of y'all that like Bobby, but I like, well, like I said, I like all the Bray kids for different reasons. Now I've seen all the Funko Pop figures they've had with these characters. I know I do believe I've seen the Greg and Pierre ones as well. I do know I've seen the Alice one. And, well, even though it was in a twofer with an invisible George Glass Jan. But Cindy's been the only one I've been unsuccessful in finding. Oh, well, I'll have some luck in finding her eventually. But anyway, I just figured it'd be best to celebrate 50 years of Shady Bray goodness than my gang. Well, the only scout who was played by Marie McCormick. Anyway, I bet you I'm going to say happy 50th anniversary to the Bray Bunch. I'd say they become my favorite, one of my absolute favorite TV families. Aside from lots of others, I think they become my favorite now, surpassing the Tanners from Full House, or heck, even the Lawsons from Small Wonder, or, or, or well, let's see, um, well, or the Stratons from Silver Spoons. Ah, uh, the list could go on. But anyway, I'm glad I have all the Bray Bunch here with the fifth season and this Funko Pop figure of Marsha. Anyway, the happy 50th anniversary to the Bray Bunch. It's as one of the Bray Kid songs goes. It's a sunshine day, my friends. <laughs> so, for me, that is. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm going to show you. I hope you liked this video. Tell me what you thought, what you saw in the comment section. Like and subscribe to my channel. You can tell me if you if you like the Bray Bunch. And also check out my TV log as well, okay? Now, I might show off a big, the whole five seasons I've got in another video sometime. I don't know if, where if I'm going to or not, but we'll see. But anyway, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. So until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.